ChatGPT is an excellent AI based tool that can be used to successfully achieve many things. However, when it comes to mathematics, even AI system fails. So let's look at a simple problem that we can find in uh, calculus. So if you ask this question, can a rational function have more than one horizontal asymptotes? So we ask a rational function, rational functions means functions that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. So asking whether a rational function can have more than one horizontal asymptote. Uh, so what happened when you ask that question actually one time it gave the right answer but when you repeat the question like uh, like when we ask the question from a human like uh, sometimes when you ask the same question again uh, we tend to give like different answers like sometimes we say yes sometimes we say no and the exact same thing happened uh, with the um, AI system so this is so when you ask the same question for the second time the system says I apologize for the previous incorrect answer actually the previous answer was correct when you ask this question for the first time it says that a rational function can have only one horizontal answer it says answer was no but later when you ask the same question for the second time system try to kind of uh, suspicious about that and try to switch the answers so pre previously it says no now it says yes uh, because like you know it's like try to mimic the like human behavior and then think it like okay because you're gonna ask this question again maybe like my answer was wrong so i should like switch my answer you know i mean things like that so anyway uh, this is kind of interesting what happened so and then it's also contrary to say that a rational function can indeed have more than one horizontal asymptote which is completely incorrect rational function can have only one horizontal asymptote if there is horizontal asymptote because there are certain functions you cannot have a horizontal asymptote and then uh, generally rational function can have only one horizontal asymptote or only one slant asymptote but it can have more than one vertical asymptote um, in certain cases um, so and then this also it says that this can, uh, this can occur when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator if the degree of the numerator is greater than there are no horizontal asymptote it's only a slant asymptote or uh, no slant asymptote um, and then there are multiple terms so it, it, this has nothing to do with that and then also continue to say the consider this function so it's give like a nice function and you can see here the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 1 so if the degree of the numerator is 1 more than the degree of the denominator what will happen there will be a slant asymptote and to get the slant asymptote what we normally do is we divide the two terms when you do the two terms you get a quotient that quotient going to give you the slant asymptote so so this is completely incorrect and it says that when analyzing the behavior of the rational function um, uh, as x approaches positive or negative infinity you will uh, have multiple horizontal asymptotes which is completely incorrect so let's ask this question again and uh, interestingly it continues to say like few more things uh, which are par only partially created. So it says that the as x approaches positive or negative infinity, you will find that it has multiple horizontal asymptotes, which is incorrect. And we, this, this, let's look at the argument. It says that as x approaches positive infinity, um, and you can see there's a 3x squared term in the numerator, and the func function approaches positive infinity. So this is the most interesting part. It says the horizontal asymptote at y equal uh, positive infinity positive infinity is not a number and then uh, so you cannot you can never get like a uh, horizontal asymptote just y equal infinity because that's you never reach that value so this is this is not correct this is theoretically uh, incorrect uh, and then also it says that when x goes to negative infinity it says that there's another horizontal asymptote at y equal negative infinity which is also incorrect because y equal negative infinity is not a number so you can set it like that so these are both incorrect um and then um and then let's i ask this question again for uh and then see what happens so if you ask this question again and it's again says that i apologize for the confusion in my previous response i said yes it possible nope this is wrong it's not possible um so this is uh incorrect and it says that a rational function may have multiple horizontal asymptotes if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator no nope. um, if uh, you only get a horizontal asymptote when the degrees are the same so um, 
and then also it's gonna give you like another example and it's also say that another like interesting thing says that uh, which yield the horizontal asymptote this is not a horizontal line it is a slant line y equal 3x is not horizontal um, so this so this is and then also this one doesn't have this this special function have only a slant asymptote uh, so this is incorrect horizontal asymptote y equal 3x no it's not it's not horizontal so this is like all, all incorrect so you need to be very careful uh, when you try to use a system like that um, because normally this is the only one correct like a uh, while most rational function have either one horizontal asymptote or no so this is correct actually that's what happened either one or none uh, but but yeah so so if you are a student be careful like when you try to use a system like that and because it's going to give you completely wrong answers and you want to make sure because this system is not developed yet so so this may be a good opportunity for the chat gpd team to kind of figure out like what's really going on maybe like they try to use like a one algorithm just try to apply for like several different cases but when it comes to mathematics like there are so many different cases so like a one one case doesn't apply to uh, many others so so maybe like a it's a it's a, it's a situation the case by case situation also like you know when you try to translate a word problem into like a mathematical terms maybe like you know how how it interprets inside the system maybe that, that's something like you may, may need to focus on okay so um and also again i ask this question again so it says that yes a rational function can have more than one horizontal asymptote under certain conditions which is again incorrect uh interesting like it give you like a example so it's kind of interesting like you know how we kind of think about that um so so again so this is this is uh incorrect so there are no and i'll again say two horizontal asymptotes so which is again uh incorrect so um and it's going to give you like two different numbers so it says that y equal uh, three over two and again y equal two so they consider the same one uh, twice so that's kind of interesting uh it's going to consider one for positive infinity one for negative now it's the same line so there are only one there are two um so yeah so you can continue to read what they are talking about and also uh so let's look at actual theory so this is uh, this is for you so how to actually find those linear asymptotes so let's say you have a rational function fx equal px over qx uh when you have two polynomials when you divide two polynomials you get a rational function so how to find the vertical asymptote when you want to find the vertical asymptote what we normally do we simplify it completely first we simplify it and remove all the common factors so you have to remove all the common factors and then you factor the denominator completely to linear factors all those linear factors going to give you uh, all those different linear factors going to give you different vertical asymptotes so but you should be a linear factor that for example if you have x squared plus one and you cannot factor that uh, in the rational domain so that means x squared plus one in the denominator doesn't give you any vertical asymptote but x squared minus one going to give you two because you can factor it as x minus one x plus one okay so let's look at the next one horizontal asymptote when you come to horizontal asymptote again you have px over qx let's say px equal axn that's the like a leading term a is the coefficient and more terms and the denominator have bxm and the degree of the uh, numerator is n degree of the denominator is m so n and m and then this is the criteria what it says that if n is less than m if n is less than m that means m have a larger degree this only y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote that's it there are only one if n equal to m if n equal to m what are you going to do we divide the two leading coefficients we divide a over b so y equal a over b is a horizontal asymptote so y equals, these are horizontal all the horizontal lines so and that's it so let's look at an example for example if you look at the first one 3x squared so you can see uh, the degree uh, of the numerator is large so that means y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote and here the two degrees are the same so you divide the two coefficients so you get y equal 3 over 4 is a horizontal asymptote and that's it so simple and then uh, slant asymptote so how do you slant asymptote slant asymptote happened in only in this special case what happened the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator exactly one more than if that is the case y equal qx is the only oblique asymptote what is this qx qx is a quotient 
when you divide Px by Qx. If you divide Px by Qx, you get a quotient. That quotient is the uh, oblique asymptote. But right? it's only happen if n equal n is one more than the degree of the denominator. Only one. So uh, let's look at an example. Like if you have let's say 3x squared minus x plus 5 over x plus 3, and you can see the degree of the denominator is one. Degree of the denominator is two, so it is exactly one more than. So what we do? We divide the two. So use the law of division. When do I, you get the quotient as 3x minus 10? So that means y equal 3x minus 10 is the oblique asymptote. So that's it. And there are you can see that there are no more answers. So that means there's only one oblique asymptote. Um, so it's very clear. So there's a fourth case. Like what happens if n is more than m plus 1? If n is more than m plus 1, there are no linear asymptotes. So there cannot be any linear asymptote. But there can be higher degree asymptote. For example, it can have quadratic asymptote or cubic asymptote or things like that. So for example, this example, if you look at uh, 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1 or x plus 1, and you can see this is uh, 2 more than 1. So in this case, if you divide the 2, this is what you get. That's a quotient. So that means that's going to be the quadratic asymptote. It's a quadratic asymptote because it's a degree 2 quadratic. So th that's what happens. You can have higher degree asymptote in these courses. So, so this makes it very clear how things can happen. So what uh, chat GPT give us is, is completely incorrect. Uh, so this is the correct theory for that. Okay, and then if you need more, you can find more examples in the description with the actual theories uh, behind it. So also like, let's look at, a, let's ask another like a simple question. What is the square root of nine? So it's, uh, we define square roots as like a number. When you square that number, you get nine. And you clearly know that like you know even the middle school students know that when you square three and negative three you get nine so that means there are two answers here but it says that it is nine it is only three so which is completely incorrect again uh, and then it, it has like a nice expression so this is correct uh, this is because three multiplied by uh, three you get nine yes but what happened to negative three and also you know that if you multiply negative three times negative three you also get nine so that that part is missing so, so, so there's something going on with the algorithm that uh, ChatGPT use here. Um, so maybe it is a good time to think about like what's going on and how to improve this one because this is just like a great tool. It's a great tool if you use it right. Uh, so what I'm thinking about, we might need to think about it right. So yeah, so like uh, what you can do is I try to like analyze like what's going on and what what part is missing, and then uh, ChatGPT is like a great tool, uh, and if you use it right. So, uh, so what they can think about is like, you know, they can analyze like, you know, the algorithm and see like what part is missing. And, but if they can fix it, like uh, this can be like a really great tool uh, for education and other um, important purposes. Okay, so thank you for listening.